Well, good morning. I'm reading from the book of Genesis this morning, and I'm thinking about the fact that every person has got to meet God for themselves. You've got to come to know Jesus yourself and have a personal relationship with Him. And in the life of Jacob, that encounter, I don't think, actually happens in his life until he leaves home. And so in Genesis chapter 28, um, his parents get together and they decide that he needs to leave. They're afraid his brother's going to try to do him harm and they don't want him to marry any of the, the women of that land. So they send him back to Syria to her family's house. And in verse 10, it says, And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed. And behold, a ladder was set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it into thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east, and to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places where thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And this is where Jacob I think for the first time in his life, had a personal encounter with God. And it says at the top of that ladder that the angels of God were ascending and descending upon, that he saw the Lord, and the Lord addressed him and spoke to him. We come to the New Testament in John chapter 1. As Jesus is calling some of his disciples, whenever he meets Nathaniel, Nathaniel says to him in chapter 1 and verse 49 of John, And Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. And he saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And so, so Jesus says, Nathaniel, you're going to see the same thing Jacob saw. And when you look to the top of that ladder, you're going to see the Son of Man. And so Jacob had this encounter with the Lord himself out there in the desert. And it changed him. It changed him from that point in time forever. Because he went from being somebody who was confused about who God is and his covenant to somebody who was certain of who God is and of the covenant that he had made with him. And one of the the places that that shows is when he begins to leave after 20 years of serving Laban. And he takes off with all of his family and Laban has to catch up with him. And and Laban basically accuses him of stealing his flocks and his family. And they have to sort it all out. And so they decide what they're going to do is they're going to build a a heap, a mizpah. They're going to build this heap and it's going to be a a covenant they're going to make there. And so they call it Galid and Mizpah, for he said, The Lord, watch between me and thee when we are absent one from another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, or if thou shalt take other wives beside my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness betwixt me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast betwixt me and thee. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and that thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. Now listen to what he says. This is Laban, the God of Abraham and the God of Nahor and the God of their father judge betwixt us. So Laban is a, he's a polytheist. He's saying Abraham has a God, Nahor has a God, their father has a God. You remember when Rachel left, she took her father's household gods, these images that, that he had. But it says, Jacob swear by the fear of his father, Isaac. You know, when you truly meet Jesus, you're done with all other gods. And that's what happened in Jacob's life when he saw the Lord standing at the top of heaven, at the top of that ladder. I hope that you know him as well. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.